Hi everyone, this is Chef Rochelle Boucher and I'm honored to be here. I'm your Earth Day chef. And I have one of the best partners, Mira. I'm thrilled that you're here Yay. with me. We are distanced, we are safe, we are sanitized. We're gonna stay apart, but our hearts are together. And it's just an honor to be explaining why I am an electric kitchen super fan. And we're gonna be cooking away on this beautiful electric equipment. So I wanna explain a little bit. I'm a chef in real life and even here in the electric kitchen workshop. <laughs> so this is a beautiful place that Monarch Premium Appliance co-created with us. Um, our company is Kitchens to Life and we are going around sharing the great news about electric kitchens. So I wanna give a shout out to Monarch. We're in the San Francisco location and we do a lot of wonderful things here. I really get it. You know, about a year and a half ago when um, the Berkeley Code yes. started, yes. the REACH Codes, I understand the emotion around, you know, changing and, yes. and uh, the perception of gas cooking. I totally get it. I have been several decades, not only as a private chef, but I've been a corporate chef in the appliance world, working on mm -hmm. the, the most um, kind of simplest tools to mm -hmm. the, the very luxury and everything in between. I feel like I live right between the human and the appliance. I call <laughs> myself an appliance whisperer, but I really get it. And I understand that these changes are, can be surprising. I love electric kitchens, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about why, but I have someone that is going to be my my sous chef. Oh, and yeah. then, so, so Mira, thank you for being oh. here. Please introduce yourself and you. thrilled to have you in the electric cool. kitchen workshop. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Mira Ramanathan. I've been in the sustainability field for a while, but now I'm currently representing the city of Cupertino as part of the Sustainability Commission. I want to thank you. I am so honored to be learning from an actual chef. <laughs> and that, and I, I, again, Rochelle and I love each other, Chef Rochelle and I, but because of the COVID protocol, we are distant, but you are here and exactly. i am so grateful to you to monarch to um and to the city of cupertino sustainability manager andre devort for this opportunity not many people know uh, including me not many people know about induction cooktops not many people understand how easy it is to use them and i am so grateful for this opportunity to be able to do so especially as part of the earth day celebrations thank you again i appreciate Absolutely. this this is great you know, a lot of top sustainability people, most, and most people that are not in sustainability, very few people yes. have experienced induction. Yes. In the appliance world, we love induction cooking. We've just been waiting for its moment, oh. and this is its moment. Wow. So I want to share a little bit about what it is. Um, we'll, we'll explain about induction mm -hmm. in a little bit, but what I want to explain is that the cooktops are really important. You have the gas cooktops or the big gas yeah. ranges. Yes. yes. And the big giant hoods that go with those. Yes. And then you also have these cooktops. So right. what induction is not, it is not those old radiant mm. electric, often mm. called resist electric resistance, those yes. flat tops. You have a little yes. experience with that. Yes, I do. It's not the coil. So yes. you've been through yes. kind of not loving electric. Not loving electric. And I will tell you very clearly, yeah. my dear friend, that that old cooktop that I had, which was the radiant electric coil cooking, yeah. was very difficult to maintain any yeah. pots, you know, it would crack, yeah. all sorts of things happened with it. So, and as, and this is very exciting that these induction cooktops are so sturdy and so flexible to yeah. all types of environments because the city of Cupertino as, um, Chef Rochelle mentioned earlier with the city of Berkeley yeah. are all moving towards um, getting better electric reach codes and moving away from fossil fuels such as natural gas in their uh, overall residential areas. So I'm this is a very useful topic and I'm so glad to experience this because I've only had first like time. I, yes, I've only had <laughs> I've only had the you know, the gas cooktops and then my very bad experience with yeah the radio. Now electric. part of it is we have to decouple mm. the idea of, of the old electric with the new yes. electric. The yes. way that this works, the way yes. induction works is there is a magnetic or there's a copper coil underneath. Okay. It creates a magnetic connection with the pan. Mm -hmm. So instead of creating excessive, excessive heat like the gas or old electric where right. 
where 80, 70, 80% of that goes into your atmosphere, you have almost 80, upwards of 80% efficiency with these. So all of your heat and energy go right into the pan. So wow. you ready to test it out? Ooh, can, I, can, I, can I? Okay. So the way they work uh -huh. is you have to put them on and this one is on. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to touch this one. I'll do this side and you do that. Okay. So then you're going to engage the on switch. And then you're going to slide. I am melting chocolate right Ooh, here. Nice. Yours, you're going to do exactly that one. So press the on and you're going to go all the way to full power. And I am going to be boiling this water. Yep. Okay. It's nice and cold. All I right. Touch it. Off I go. Boom. Off you go. Woo! So many myths around induction. Oh. We're going to talk about ventilation. We're going to talk about cookware. But right okay. now, you know, people say, oh, gas is so much more powerful. It has more cooking control. Gas is not more powerful. I have worked on 19,500 BTUs, 22.5, all of these BTUs. Yeah. And they don't even come close to the innocent looking induction cooktop that's sitting right next to the door. Oh, wow. So when you are boiling water, it can happen two times faster. Are you seeing some action? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> thrilled with this. This right? is pretty cool. I just turn this on you just turned it I on i just turned this Look on at and that. it's almost starting it's like vile not violently boiling but it's starting it's there to yeah so much more powerful that yeah. translates into incredible cooking wow and much more controllable this is a super low temperature yeah and i can keep that infinitely do you know how high the temperatures go with each of the the numbers because it goes from sure. one or like zero numbers yeah. So many cooktops will either have a temperature number attached to it, uh -huh. or you can very quickly, depending on the brand, you can okay. figure out what those are. Okay. To me, when I work on gas now, I yeah. feel like I'm working blind. Oh, Here wow. Here the time. Oh, look, it's already it's blind. Cool. Oh my gosh, it's blind. Now, blind. watch this. You have ventilation, oh. right? Now, in this, this is Dude. an elegant cooktop. The ventilation is built right in. It's oh. very special. Oh, um, It's wow. really incredible. Now we're going to talk about ventilation a little more when we do yeah. wok cooking. Yes, and I have a lot of questions for you about this because this is the coolest. This the, is very cool. This is very cool. Now watch this. Turn it off and you're okay. going to see something else really cool. So when you turn it off, yeah, okay. and just keep your finger there for just oh. a second. Oh. Yeah. And what happens? Oh my gosh. Look at, and look at the steam. That going. fun. Oh. And then water off. Dude, weird. This is very, very. It's easy. amazing. And the noise level. I know you may not be able to hear it out there, but the noise level of this ventilation is so low compared to, at, even though the flow of air is so high. Wonderful. Compared to a normal exhaust fan that yep. we work with under, you know, that's over a gas stove. It's so, incredible. Thank you. This is. This is too cool. Thank All you. All right. Thank so, you. So good first experience. Yes. Okay. I'm excited. So I'm excited. we'll cook some crepes. You guys ready? Stay tuned. Thank you. We are celebrating not only Earth Day, but yes. we are preemptively celebrating Mother's Day. And you have a great insight onto that. Thanks. But when, you know, when we were talking about our topic, we wanted to be fresh and sustainable. We've got some really wonderful produce and vegetables and everything local, but it was also about celebrating Mother Earth and moms, which you are. So Thank tell you. us a little bit about why this topic resonated with you. A, a I was so impressed with Chef Rochelle's menu because I love what we're going to make, Thank you. but B, that it's for Mother's Day and who is our mother but Mother Earth. Yeah. So the concept is so tied in that we're doing this on Earth Day for Earth Day yeah. to celebrate Mother Earth on Mother's Day. Absolutely. Thank and you. it's a do ahead menu. Yeah. If there is a year that the moms have needed to not be forgotten, yes. it's this year. Yes. So you can do, we're going to do a menu of uh, crepes, sweet and savory crepes. Yep. They can be filled with all kinds of wonderful things. Very sustainable because you can use things up um, and you can make them way in advance, which is great. So no excuses. Yeah. Um, and then we're also going to do, I won't make it, but we have a fruit skewer bouquet mm -hmm. and that kind of concept and recipe is going to be available um, for you guys to, to, to look up. So we're ready to make crepes. Again, a Mother's Day thing. What I like about this is you can make all these crepes way in advance. They can be frozen. You don't even need to put 
you know, plastic wrap or anything in between. You stack them, you freeze them, they thaw out in minutes. Yeah. So you can get them. You can even do your filling in advance if you want. So, yeah, while I'm going to do over here, I'll get you started. And okay. then I'm going to make a savory version. So this is a crepe batter that has a little bit of chai. Ooh, really delicious. There yes. are beautiful Indian pancakes Thank you. and breads that I love. <laughs> yes. So I'm learning you. from you. Yes. Um, but for this one, yes, we are going to talk a little bit about what? Okay. There are one big sort of myth yes. is that you have to change out all your cookware. Right. No, you do not. Anything that a magnet sticks to works. Another big myth is that walks don't work on induction. Yes. They do, but you've got some insight into this. Well, while you're talking about it, let's put this on. Okay. We're going to get started. Okay. So you'll press your little circle here. Yep. Press that. Yay. Look at me. I'm I know. You got, and there's keep your finger oh, there. Oh, that's one. right. Yep. Yes. And then you'll drag it all the way uh -huh. to, I would say, like eight. Eight. Yeah. Okay. And there are two different positions on this. There's okay. also a bridge burner. Yes, okay. I saw that. I was going to ask you about the bridge burner. Yeah. Because it you looks... can bridge them together for a grill or a griddle. Wonderful. Because I, in the old, um, again, the radiant electric yes. cooktop, it circles around so there's a like circle a like a circle like a filament like a light like a landing base it gets where really you hot. put and that gets really hot yeah. here this is not hot at all yeah. even though it's working inside the pot is warm. getting really hot yeah so one the thing you have to warm. change and yeah. one thing that is not a myth but uh -huh. it's true is there is a learning curve ah see, so you gotta yeah. get kind of everything ready unlike yeah. you know cranking it up and then going to prep so we have everything ready yeah. the filling is going to be sauteing mushrooms so put okay. a little oil in that all right put in the butter and then we're going to saute up the mushrooms. Look at me. A I chef know. is teaching me how to cook. And then over here. Okay. Now, what I love is mm -hmm. I can actually do speed crepes. So as delicate as crepes are, they actually take a little time to cook. But I can crank them on here, which is Shall really I put exciting. put the butter in there, too? Yep. Yeah. Shall And then any time you are ready, when that melts a little bit, we'll get the... I know, right? All of a sudden, boom! When you do wok cooking, Mira, mm -hmm. you actually often have to back the heat off. It's amazing. amazing. This is way Crank it. too. <laughs> Whoa! I know <laughs> this. In, I will tell you when I when I make the <laughs> in wow. my in my uh, accoutrement that looks like a wok but is not. Sure. Um, I will tell you, and it's and it's heavy bottom, like it's one of these copper bottom pots. Sure. And so when I make ghee, I usually put butter, and it takes a while yep. in gas cooking because the gas in and of itself has to come in and like the start in there. And I will throw my mushrooms yep. in there. So it takes a while to to get the butter kind yes. of melted. Yes, it does. So I'm going to. I will be learning this. I've got to add a lot more to my repertoire. You. Oh. I am so honored to be so learning we'll from get you. So a thank bit you. of this ventilation going. Okay. And, I and got, I'm sauteing. Look at it, me. I'm I sauteing. know, right? So with wok okay. cooking, you can just go to town. Okay. Um, so same thing when you're doing Indian cooking, you start with this really high saute. Yes. And, you know, get everything yes. smelling great. Yes. Ventilation. So you still need ventilation. This cooktop is pretty amazing. This is cool. Yeah. This is you very cool. You can go with above ventilation. Um, yeah. The difference when you have a big giant gas range is you need those big almost yes. restaurants. Yes. 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 When you, do. you have induction, you can do the beautiful sleek cooktops. They will give you even more um, clean air because you are thinking about not mm. only you don't have as much particulate. When right. this is spattering off, it's not turning into um, particulate from the correct. extra heat. Correct. Yep. Yes, correct. So actually, even if I'm frying then, it would just directly be, and you can actually see the air being so thin. I know, this is like a visual that oh. I cannot even describe. It's so fun. It is a, when so I have- And your air quality, just briefly, yes. is such a huge part of this. Yes, it is. They're, um, they did an amazing study. The Rocky Mountain Institute just put out a really incredible report that there's a 42% increase in the kids having asthma if there is a gas cooktop or range in the home. And I can understand why. Right. I can completely understand why. Because the ventilation in and of itself that's above the cooktop doesn't necessarily grab all of the items in the cooktop. It's not for the power of the ventilation and it's not because of the airflow. Yep. But it's just you don't know where the air is going. And think here, about it, when I you have gas, 
You yeah. have noxious fumes. There yeah. is none of that noxious Especially if you're not fumes. cooking well or if it's burning. It becomes a lot beautiful. more noxious. So if you want, you can throw in the, the shell and okay. the garlic. Thank and you. you'll see how fast I can do this. The other thing you'll notice is no matter how high and cranking that is, look how cool your handles stay. I know. And I can hold it. In Indian cooking or yes. in a gas cooking, yes. generally I have these clamps that I have to hold on. The right. metal clamps. So sure. the metal clamps, because I cannot be, I am not allowed to touch this. Or I have to use some kind of Rubbermaid or plastic type of, sure, of those you know, silicone the, holders. The sure. silicone holders. Yep. yep. So that's the only way. And here I'm holding this. Yep. And I don't even have to hold it. It's not because it's sliding. Yep. I'm not holding it because it's sliding. I'm just holding it because I'm so used to, to doing, to it, doing sure. it this way. And I need to hold on to the pot while I cook. Oh. <laughs> and full disclosure, yep. we are both about a meter and a half tall. <laughs> yes. <right? laughs> I say it like that because it sounds taller. Yes. Yes. But yeah. we are not getting hot from this cooking. No. It's amazing. Not at all. And That's I don't fun. have the smell. My hair is one that also grabs cooking smells sure. very quickly. And so everybody knows what I'm cooking because I go out and say, like yes, it. I smell like it. <laughs> and now I am not. Actually, I cannot smell my cooking. The cooking is not coming. It's here. I just can smell, smell it, but it's just the good smell. Exactly. So thank you. This is just So you can amazing. turn that right off and okay. just toss the greens in. So this, if this can use any type of vegetables. You can throw in anything okay. you want. Perfect. This is really sustainable because you can use the leftover bits and ends like you yes. do if you're making soup yes. or crisps. This is so lovely. it's a lot of fun. I really love the concept of spinach and um, mushrooms. Yeah, and that is this is mirroring? Good. This is mirroring some of the dishes that you make. Yes, of course, it I mirrors it. everything, and even this walk atmosphere. <laughs> Not fun. Yes, it is. And like I said, you never have to. It's not sliding. It's not a question of discomfort while I'm cooking. It's just I'm used to cooking. You're used to <laughs> all the things. Control. Yes, yeah. it gives me control, especially for soft pans and stuff, yeah. because I can hold the edges and move it around when I'm making anything. So Absolutely. this is lovely. Isn't it fun? Yes, it is fun. Now, a couple Thank things you. that you'll notice. We'll talk a little bit about. So we talked about particulate. Yes. Anything, all the grease and everything, it's not getting burned up from that extra right. heat. Correct. And then anything that lands down here, it's landing on a cold surface. Yes. So again, not you're get, not getting the, the methane and the NOx gases, but you're also not getting extra particulate it's so good so i wanted to ask you something on that yes. like sometimes in the old radiant cooktop and i'm sure. going to dab oh, a little dude, bit cook more away oil. now yeah. we're in the group yeah you're a learning yeah. i said this has got a learning curve yeah, yeah. she said so, so <laughs> thank you i'm coming from her okay so the other thing is when we are cooking um on even a gas cooktop or yep. on a radiant uh cooktop yeah the big thing that i've noticed is if i'm let's say i'm boiling something even water or milk or anything and it boils over yes in both it tends to leave this trail of burnt material sure so does that happen here very different situation okay. so okay. yes so one myth yes. uh, or one thing that is true is that this does get hot underneath but look I know I have weird chef hands. Okay, yeah. don't do this at home. But you, it doesn't get nearly as yeah. hot yeah. because all it is is reflected heat from the pan. So right. when things spill over, they're not going to burn the same way. Right. And then many induction cooktops can actually see the spill and it'll shut off. Are you kidding? Yes. Kind of like a Tesla. And not that I'm That's promoting Tesla. True. I'm just saying, kind of like all of the quote unquote electric vehicles that. Yes actually do stop or the vehicles now that actually do sense somebody coming to you and automatically bring absolutely so this is incredible that, isn't it fun that so we've fun. got this ready to go we're okay. going to do one more fun thing all right we're going to do a sweet crisp so all right and then you have told me so if when you're thinking as you're cooking on this mm -hmm. tell me as you're thinking about indian style pancakes and things like that like how do you see that translating i to this type of cooking? i think it'll translate really well i think the big thing is it, yep. as um chef rochelle was mentioning it's all about learning so for mm. me like you know here i'm using less oil initially right and then you start putting a little bit of dabs more oil yes. because and you also are noticing 
when I'm cooking, I can't, no, it's, it's being sucked in. So here, I am not getting this burnt crisp type of odor or this burnt crisp Good. type of atmosphere. Good. I am actually seeing that the vegetables are just being sauteed perfectly. So that. that's one thing. The second thing is um, in Indian cooking, like we do have a lot of flat pans where we make rotis and such. And when we do that, you do need to have like a flat based pan. Absolutely. So, like, and then, this wok. like this wok. Like this wok. And then you'll actually have, oh, would you like to do to four? Here. Scoop Ooh. a little bit onto here. All right. A little bit more on the half. And we are going to plate it up. Ooh. So you're seeing that it translates, yes. but you have to think about the shape of your cookware. Yes. Things like that. that. And the interesting part is that when, so when I moved from my, I originally learned how to cook with natural gas. Mm -hmm. Then sure. I moved, um, when we moved over to California, I did have that radiant heat panel, yes. um, electric cooktop. And then I couldn't utilize any of the material or any of the cooktops that, or forgive me, cookware that I had in the past, because when I put it on the radiant heat, it would generally tend to become it would become, you know, it would shake or wobble or oh, do sure. all of this. Yes. Yeah, because it was curved. So that was why it was very interesting. And if you looked at this, this, I, she's putting a plate on top of it. Right you on top. You can never do that in, right another, in another type of cooktop ever. Isn't it amazing? So it was you amazing. You can have your recipes spread out. It's yeah. remarkable. I want to show you this. This okay. is really fun. Oh. This is a lace print. Uh -huh. So I took the sweet, the sweet dough, uh -huh. and I was able to just paint it into the yeah. pan. And we've got this little beauty here. Okay. We're going to do that. Oh, you want to test one out? Oh, can I make one? Yes. Oh, oh are you kidding? <laughs> I share, sister. Look so we'll me. get a tiny okay. bit of heat. Don't okay. need much. And All then right. a little bit of butter. All right. And then you just kind of paint and squeeze this in and create like a little... Back and forth. So there's no right or wrong. Notice on this also. Yeah. She is a chef and she has kept the paper of the butter. Sure. Here. And it's okay <laughs> because on this cooktop, it will not have a problem. At home, I will always remove all of the wrapping before I put the butter <laughs> on it. You <laughs> learned that. Yeah. Here she you goes. go. Oops, sorry. Don't worry. Yeah. It's so easy to clean this now, cooktop. I am not even And worried. now I'm going to make my lace nice Look nice at you are so good at Look this at me. oh no because i have a good teacher if i'm at home this is not going to happen below the city. it's Thank pretty you. fun and easy no, and you. then just kind of all you have to do when you do the lace crepe is to connect all the dots so okay. string a few of those together it gives it more structure oh wow. yeah so just make sure yeah that's all you need to do oh perfect me. may i have the oil yes you may cool and i shall give this to you yeah and again so let that crank go all the way up to nine because we're standing right here. Okay. And then the last thing I'll do mm -hmm. for Mother's Day. So again, you can do these way ahead. And mm -hmm. then the last thing I'll do is I'll do a little fried egg. Yeah. Uh, we'll go, we'll get it nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. And look how fast that happened. That is awesome. And, Salt, please. And it is not even, now I am highly superstitious. Oh, yes. So. I tend to, uh, if I spill salt, I have to put it over my shoulder three times and all this stuff. Sure, and we are not, bye, bye thing. I have to give it to you this way. There we go. <laughs> Just for timing sake. <laughs> okay, and you're not supposed to give it. Okay, there we go. I'll put it back. There we go. <laughs> You got it. So I'm just going to get this guy going, and then I will give you this great flipper. Okay. And so, all the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was yeah. that it's not with this type of cooking material. Are you a fan of, you know, uh, how should I say this? Uh, this type of cookware? Oh, non The nonstick versus sure. that type of cookware. I love nonstick cookware. Uh -huh. I love, you know, what's great on this is it's great. Um, cast iron. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So, so a little bit longer on that. Okay. What I'm going to do is we'll give this guy a flip. Okay. Um, and then this is a really fun thing to share. Okay. Now for your lace crate, yeah. what we're going to do uh -huh. is just scoop a little bit of that onto half. On half. Okay. And I will give you some cream. Woo! Okay. Really nice. You're marvelous in the kitchen. Oh, you are. This is dreamy. And coming from you, my friend, that Tommy's is a certificate of excitement. <laughs>
There you go. Oh, and is that creme fresh? This is creme? whipped cream, whipped. and then you can just pull that lid over okay. and create something so special. Oh, wow. Come on, Mother's oh, Day, right. Mother Earth. Oh. Can you see? And Mother Earth is. Oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. And then what do you do to decorate? Do you generally tend to put like. You could do a little powdered sugar. Yes. You could. I happen to have mm. chocolate. You could do oh, a little like chocolate. Like a drizzle. More than you anything. can even keep it simple and do a little maple syrup Ooh. or nothing at all because there's a little bit of sweetness in this. Rochelle is going to give us all the recipes yes. on there so that we can make this. And I home. want to hear if you've made it. Yes. In fact, I'm going to make here, it And here, give this a little flip. All right, I do. Thank and you. And try that out. I'm so how about that, here. everybody? We've talked about a lot of things we know. But there is so much good news about today's electric kitchen. Look at, Look at that. that. Whoa. Yeah. Now we have, you have been an amazing partner. Oh, thank you. you have learned right in front of everybody that takes a lot of courage, but oh, clearly I've got a teacher. an affinity <laughs> for this. No, this anything, is any last thoughts on our cooking? So one, the ease of cooking is amazing. Two, the speed of cooking is amazing. Three, the control of cooking is amazing. Right. Those three things are the ones that everyone thinks that you can only do in your own cooktop. I am a natural gas cooktop person. And look at me. Duh. I'm making things that are actually quite difficult to make. On and camera. I'm doing it with <laughs> Ian. <laughs> Fine. being very kind. But I'm it, very difficult to make. And I'm doing it with ease. So thank you, thank you, Chef Rochelle. You are greener, awesome. cleaner, and absolutely gorgeous. Here, pick this up. We'll show it off. All right. Thank you. It's been an honor. We've stayed distance, but our hearts are connected. Always. Happy Earth Day, everyone. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. And thank you, Chef Rochelle, for taking me down Electric Avenue. I love it. Brunch is served.